Hello guys, this is your GP family physician, Dr. Ali. So, do you want to know about the medication that you may have been prescribed or you may have purchased over the counter? Remember, I will be talking about the active ingredients or pharmacological names rather than specific brands. So, what is atorvastatin? It belongs to the group of medication called statins. Atorvastatin is given to reduce cholesterol in the blood conditions known as hypercholesterolemia or hyperlipidemia its usual dose is started at 10 milligrams and slowly increased to a maximum of 80 milligrams allow at least four weeks before increasing the dose atorvastatin is also given for patients who are at high risk of developing cardiovascular events such as stroke or heart attack in those cases it is given as 20 milligrams once daily and can be adjusted according to the lipid profile or the cholesterol level in their blood. For patients who have already had a stroke or heart attack, it is given as 80 milligrams once daily. The common side effects that are reported include muscle pains, high blood sugar levels, hypersensitivity reactions, sometimes joint pains, laryngeal pain, also pharyngitis and bleeding from the nose known as epistaxis. Statins should be avoided in pregnancy and it should be discontinued ideally three months before attempting to conceive due to the risk of congenital anomalies. In liver failure, it is advised to avoid inactive disease or unexplained persistent rise in liver enzymes. In kidney failure, it is advised to adjust the dose. Usual starting dose is 20 milligrams once daily. When you are started on statins, you would require an initial cholesterol blood test. Your liver function needs to be monitored at three months and then one year. Patients who have a persistent muscle pains need an enzyme creatinine kinase to be checked. Those patients at risk of diabetes require checking for diabetes at a three months interval. To stay up to date with my videos, please don't forget to like, share and follow. Thank you very much.